everyone, here I am with a Latham's six pin dimple lock I got from eBay. It's in the um, night latch configuration, which means that uh, the pin stacks are here and the pins are pointing downwards, as opposed to say um, in a Euro profile like this Tessa. Where the pins are pointing upwards which means that although i could rotate it around like i did the yale i did a few videos back um this time i'm holding it in the right attitude which means that i'm actually going to pick it be picking upwards which means that you think with the orientation of it this way i'd be using a right hand flag if i was picking downwards but i'm going to be using left hand flags upside down <coughs> Now the peculiarity of this lock is that um, if I pick it one way, it's really easy. If I pick it another way, um, I've got to start doing something really daft. So let's start by doing it the wrong way around, if you like, picking it anti-clockwise. Clue clicks off one, two, get to the back. And suddenly we're into a crazy, crazy false set. Now the thing I've noticed about this crazy false set, apart from the fact that I can get my pick stuck, I can leave the lock like this, and it will stay there. But actually the, the main thing is that I don't seem to have enough leverage when I'm levering from this side to sort out the counter rotation and reset that pin. So what I'm doing is I'm actually going to use the right flag, again upside down, coming from this side of the core. This is not recommended because it's a great way to get your pick stuck and then your pick can get broken. I know this because it's happened to me many times. So now I'm leaving from this side and seeing if I can get enough leverage to counter rotate it back. And reset, not reset that pin. Got it then. Okay. Oh. Slipped off. Right, so <clears throat> swap back over. See how we get on. This is absolutely a great fun lot to pick. Not too challenging, <clears throat> but good fun. Right, so that was anti-clockwise. Well, let's try picking it clockwise, because this is where it becomes quite easier. Now you see, false set, different direction, still quite crazy, crazy angle false set, but it's certainly a lot easier to um, get the leverage required. And there we go, open. And I've gone too far, which means I now need to try and rest of the pins out of the way. There we go. So that's the Lathams. So let me put that to one side for a second. Now if anyone ever watched video 172 there was an awful awful cheap Chinese lock. Um, the whole euro itself weighed 60 grams yeah you know, which is almost twice which is almost half the weight of say a snapped euro like this. Well I actually cut it apart because gutting it it went horribly wrong now the reason why it's so so light is the fact that this is cheap sort of pot metal but use the hacksaw by the way I didn't use a dremel use the hacksaw to cut it apart and this is the core yeah and you see when it went horribly wrong the gutting because it slipped off and the pins basically just dropped into these great chasms here and they are chasms yeah it's like this is 
least amount of metal that they could get away with really which explains why it's so light um, yeah and there's something quite pretty about this I find reminds me of an engine block um, but it's an awful lock so if you see one of these things and they're really really are cheap and nasty just avoid them anyway take care everyone and thanks for watching bye bye